Hello there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Handa na ba kayo para sa ating panibagong lesson para sa second quarter? My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade 4 Science Activities. In our last science episode, you learned about the effect of the environment in the life cycle of organisms. The environment plays a very important role in carrying out important life processes and essential interaction. You also learned in that episode the abiotic and biotic factors of the environment. The biotic factors are the plants and animals while the abiotic factors include sunlight, climate, water, and air. For a quick review, can you identify which of the following is the primary source of energy, producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, and decomposer? Comment down your answers below this video. Now that you know the effect of the environment in the life cycle of organisms, we can now move forward to our next science lesson which is entitled, Interactions Among Living Things in Their Environment. Science Learning Episode, Interactions Among Living Things in Their Environment. In the previous lesson, you learned about how organisms relate to one another and how abiotic factors control such relationships. In this lesson, you will describe some types of beneficial and harmful interactions among living things. Ang mga interaction na ito sa pagitan ng mga salik ng ating kapaligiran at mga organismo ay maaaring magdulot ng mabuti o masamang epekto. But before heading to our today's topic, let us first define the different terminologies that you need in understanding this science concept. Number one is symbiosis. Symbiosis is a term describing any relationship or interaction between two dissimilar organisms. It is a close relationship between two species in which at least one species benefits. In Tagalog, ang symbiosis ay ang kahit anong ugnayan sa pagitan ng dalawang magkaibang organismo. Ito ay ugnayan sa pagitan ng dalawang organismo kung saan ang isang organismo ay nakikinabang. There are five symbiotic relationships. These are mutualism, commensalism, predation, parasitism, and competition. Next is mutualism. Mutualism is the type of interaction where both species benefit from the relationship. In Tagalog, ang mutualism ay isang uri ng interaksyon sa pagitan ng dalawang organismo kung saan silang pareho ay nakikinabang sa kanilang ugnayan. Example would be plants and animals in general. Plants and animals are part of what we call the carbon cycle kung saan ang animals ay nagigive off ng carbon dioxide as a byproduct of respiration. Ang carbon dioxide na ito ay kailangan ng mga halaman sa proseso ng photosynthesis. In return, plants will give off oxygen as byproduct of photosynthesis na kinakailangan naman ng mga animals. Commensalism is the type of interaction where an organism benefits while the other is not harmed or affected. In Tagalog, ito ay isang uri ng ugnayan sa pagitan ng dalawang organismo kung saan ang isa ay nakikinabang samantalang ang isa naman ay hindi naaapektuhan. Ang halimbawa ng interaction na ito ay ang tree at ang orchid. Ang puno kung saan nakakapit ang orchid ay nagsisilbing lugar kung saan ito naninirahan ng hindi ito naaapektuhan. However, not all interactions benefit an organism. There are interactions that harm the other organism involved in the interaction. Next is predation. It is a type of interaction where one benefits while the other one is harmed or badly affected. The one that usually benefits is called the predator while the other one that is being harmed is called the prey. In Tagalog, ang predation ay isang uri ng interaction kung saan ang isang organismo ay nakikinabang samantalang ang isa naman ay nanganganib o di kaya naman ay lubhang naapektuhan. One example of this type of interaction is the birds and the worms. Birds are predators that eat on worms that serve as their prey. Next is parasitism. This type of interaction is when organisms like parasite benefits and harms its host organism. 
There are two types of parasite. It could be external parasite or internal parasite. In Tagalog, ang parasitism ay isang uri ng interaksyon sa pagitan ng dalawang organismo kung saan ang mga parasite ay nakikinabang samantala ang host o hayop na pinamamahayan nito ay nanganganib o di kaya naman ay lubhang naapektuhan. Ang example ng mga parasite ay mga bulate na naninirahan sa ating digestive tract. Aphids suck on the juices of the leaves. The leaves fall and eventually the rose will die. Lastly, we have competition. Competition is the striving or vying between organisms for the things needed for their survival. Organisms may compete for shelter, food, space, sunlight, water, and other things that they need for their survival. In Tagalog, ang kompetisyon ay isang uri ng interaksyon kung saan nag-aagawan ang mga organismo para sa mga bagay na kailangan nila upang sila ay mabuhay. Ilan sa mga pinagkakompetisyonan ng mga organismo ay ang kanilang tirahan, tubig, pagkain at iba pa. Halimbawa nito ay ang mga halaman. Plants compete for sunlight, space, water and nutrients in order for them to survive. Here are some examples of different symbiotic relationships for mutualism. Clownfish and sea anemone, butterfly and flower, birds and flowers, aphid and ants. We also have spider crab and algae, human digestive and digestive bacteria. For commensalism, we have shark and small fish, manta ray and bait fish. They also exhibit commensalism, jackal and tiger, tree frog and plants. Now, here are some examples of animals that exhibit predation, snake and rat, praying mantis and fly. We also have lion and zebra, and bear and fish. For parasitism, we have tick and human, and human and mosquito. These are some examples of the internal parasites. These are examples of external parasites. Animals also exhibit competition. We have intraspecific where same group of species compete for resources. We also have interspecific where in different group of species compete for resources. Ngayon naman, isubukan natin gawin ang unang gawain. Punan ang table sa ibaba. Piliin mo ang iyong sagot mula sa kahon na nasa ilalim nito. Para sa ikalawang gawain, ay pagmasdan mong mabuti ang mga larawan. Pagkatapos, ay sagutin mo ang mga gabay na tanong sa iyong kwaderno. Para sa unang tanong, anong uri ng interaksyon ang nagaganap sa pagitan ng mga organismo? Pangalawa, ano-anong mga organismo ang kabilang sa larawan? Pangatlo, ano-anong mga organismo ang nakikinabang sa interaksyon? Pangapat, ano namang mga organismo ang naaapektuhan o di kaya naman ay nanganganib sa interaksyon? Para sa ikatlong gawain ay isulat mo ang mga pangalan ng mga organismo ang iyong nakikita sa larawan. Isulat mo rin kung anong uri ng relationship ang nagaganap sa pagitan ng mga organismong ito. Isulat mo ang iyong sagot sa iyong kwaderno. Ngayon naman ay sagutan natin ng mga gabay na tanong. Una, anong mga organismo ang nagpapakita ng kapakipakinabang na interaksyon? Ikalawa, kailan natin masasabi na ang isang interaksyon ay kapakipakinabang? At panghuli, anong mga organismo ang hindi nakinabang at hindi rin naman apektuhan sa naturang interaksyon? That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe in our channel and ring the notification bell for you to be updated in our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next week! Bye-bye!